previously in Skyrim. Hold on. You look different. Hey, hey Molag Ball. If you're going to keep messing with me by making things look better, how about you, you do jewelry next? Oh my god, look at his skeleton. Look at how nice it looks. I mean, I'm sorry you're dead, dude. What? What is this? Um... What? I don't have anything anymore that satiates hunger. Plenty of stuff that's really heavy. <laughs> that's enough of that! Stop it! Tell me you're almost out of magic, though. Ah. I'm never gonna get used to dying. Oh. And respawning is so painful. But now we're back down here again. And I'm still hungry. Oh, Katya. It's gonna be a very long day. And now... Well, Katya, I'm in luck. It looks like not everything in my food inventory is <laughs> not restoring my hunger. But it's very, very limited, which means most of the food in my inventory right now is completely useless because it doesn't restore my hunger meter at all all right let's reopen this door and i've already read that note so we're not going to worry about it okay you ready to try round two I think I'm going to go with my bow this time, and we're going to hope for the best. <laughs> I say with absolutely no confidence whatsoever, and, and am I procrastinating? I'm procrastinating. I don't want to go die again. I don't know how many times I've died in this game, in this world so far. And I know, I know. If you could hear me, you'd be like, what are you talking about, boss? What do you mean you've died? I don't see that. That's because every time I die, time resets. I know you don't believe me. It's okay. If you don't believe me. Do you need a push? There we go. I'm going to assume that I just pushed and you didn't actually just teleport, but, well, this is Skyrim. Teleporting is a thing that happens in Skyrim. Oh god. As is my brain freezing and all of time seeming like it's going to stop momentarily. That's a thing that happens too. Alright. Okay, Miss Ghosty Person, we're back. She'd not remember that, but, uh, well, I mean, she's dead. She doesn't remember anything. It's kind of hard to remember stuff when you're a ghost. But, okay. You ready for this? I'm not ready for this. In fact, I'm gonna eat an apple dumpling because it gives me... Where was it? Three points in archery for two hours. I like the sound of that. I'm betting it doesn't stack, though, so I can't eat all of them and get, like, 15 points. It's disappointing. Alright. should spar later. Maybe. Maybe we'll spar later. Right now, we've got a ghost to make angry. Hi, Mr. Goat. Now I'm gonna come down here. Oh, and you've summoned an astronaut again. Yep, archery. Archery's the way to go. Archery is definitely the way to do this. Let's get rid of the other astronaut. Okay. Oh, that was much better. Only cowards use. I am a master archer. No offense, boss. None taken. I'm just happy to have survived that encounter. Don't worry. 
God, your armor looks really good. Now I'm going to loot everything in sight again and probably give it all to you. Because, you know, loot hoarder and whatnot. Okay, these are all empty. What do you Wasn't think? Paying attention. What? Don't worry, that's fine. Uh, Got anything good, boss? I have some silver that you might be interested in. I mean, it, it's in the form of cups and plates. But it's still silver. Oh, crap. I'm taking from you, not... Uh-oh. Okay, let's try that again. You can have these and the silver, all the silver. Take every bit of silver. It weighs a ton. That's much better. Distilled alcohol. New potion ingredients. Something I never thought I'd ever actually hmm, have to worry about in this game. World. I keep calling it a game because it is a game. This may be my new world, but it's still a game. Yes, boss. I'm living in a video game. I'm kind of getting used to it, but every now and then I just get this slap back to reality that says, Hey, genius, this is not where you belong. Human heart. Hmm. Gross. Very gross. I just picked up a human heart. Okay, torn smuggler's note. I can't resist him. Those eyes, those terrible eyes, so full of anger, fear, and remorse. The only escape is death. Dude, you gave up way too soon. Because, well... Skull. Charred skeever meat. That's a potion ingredient. That should be food. I mean, nobody really wants to eat cooked rat, but... Eating cooked rat is better than starving, which is what I'm looking at the potential of doing right now because none of the food in my inventory will restore my hunger, except maybe a couple of items. Let's just drink that. Ooh, frostbite. Do I know that spell? I did not know that spell. Great. Yum yum tasty spell book. I just love eating my spell books. Tastes like tree. Delicious. We could brew them into a tea. It would be great. What the? Kata, do you see that? There's a random rug on the floor. And it can't decide whether it wants to exist or not. Found. Oh! I did not expect the skeleton to stand up. Oh. Nice shot. Wouldn't walk so close to the others, boss. Well, then get out of the door. You'll lose your coin. Get out of the ah. door. <sighs> okay, come here. Now get out of the door. I can't. Iron war axe of fatigue. Oh, it's enchanted. I don't have the carry weight. I'm taking it anyways. All right, then. Let's make sure we've got everything else in this room. Might as well now. Oh. Iron Dagger of Souls, okay. Of Cross Daggers, another book I don't have. Alcohol, which seems to be one of the only things right now that'll actually restore my health. And a note. I met Sichel Gatharian on a Morndos outside the docks in the rain. Should have taken it as a sign. We'd done business before, she and I, 
Smuggling. Oh. Okay. Smuggling Black Soul Gems corpses, the kind of dark and dishonest things that would make grown men sleep in pairs. But this was different. This was big. The sword she gave me was like nothing I'd ever seen. Teeth like a slaughter fish and a blood red gem in the center. I said it must have been one of a kind. That's when she smiled at me and told me there was another. My job was to swap them. We sealed the venture with a coin, of which more was promised later. The mage told me I'd be contacted in a week. A group of her associates would pay us to use the hideout to kill some captain, after which I'd make the switch. She told me to keep this a secret from the mages, which made me pause. But the details didn't matter much to me. All I wanted to know was the number on the ledger. It was enough. Months later, and the deal is turned rotten. The mages underestimated their own magic, and we are agreed. Now we're all paying the price for our stupidity. Some tried to fight their way out, but the bastard won't die. I'm beginning to think he can't. On top of that, every man that he's felled has risen to fight beside him, making him that much harder to kill. I guess I have no one to blame but myself. I should have trusted my gut from the start. Mage jobs always have a bad sink on them. Stink on them, but this one smelled especially foul. But I wanted that gold so bad I convinced myself and the men it was moon sugar. The funny thing is, I don't even have bloodthirst anymore. I lost it at the pits of Falder's Tooth, thinking I could just kill the mages and Gatharian once I got my hands on the other one. But when the spell went bad, the guild sealed the captain in these chambers and us along with him. Now all I have left is a festering wound, an empty stomach, and the mage's coin to show for it. Chances are this coin is probably the only thing that will ever make it out of here. But oh, could I tell you a story. Because this coin has bought a lot of lives. It sold a lot of dreams and spilled a lot of blood. I know now the coin is cursed. Yet for some reason, I can't let it go. So that was the coin we just picked up off the table. Oops. My it was just boss. a piece of gold. I mean... You did learn a valuable lesson. Greed doesn't pay. And while, yes, I want money, I want lots of money because I want to be able to buy things without having to worry about whether or not I can afford it. I'm not greedy. I don't want all the money. Just enough to actually live comfortably. That's it. Okay, Katya. I have did more to give something? you. You are just giving me things? Yes, I am. Lots of things, because I have lots of things that need to leave my inventory and go into yours. So. How heavy? The, that doesn't seem like those are that heavy. I'm still overweight, though, and I just gave her all the gold I had. Or all the silver items. What about these? No, those aren't really all that heavy, either. Okay, what other things do I have? A history of Winterhold. Yeah, you can hold on to... Or not. Or not. Apparently it's a quest item. Huh. I've already given you all of those. You know what? Have a cloak. It's only one point. Eh, I guess you can have the brawler gloves back too. Gotta admit, they suit you. Alright, I'm going to give you a bunch of jewelry, too. It's not much. I don't think it's going to do enough for my carry weight, but it'll at least get some things out of my inventory so that I can see what else needs to go away. Gloves of the Pugilist. You know what? Hold on to those, too. I'm not giving you the armor back or the cult mask. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, the war axe and the dagger. There we go. There. Good. Now I can walk normally. Hopefully you can too. I have given you a lot of stuff. Don't worry. When we get back out of the dungeons and out of the sewers, I will fix that. I'll take everything you have. We'll disenchant what we can. And what we can't dis disenchant, we will sell. Sell, sell, sell. Also, I'm going to make more potions. All right.
right, let's see what's in this gate. Ooh, lock picking is improving. Getting a little bored, ah, boss. I'm sorry. But we gotta put the puzzle pieces together. Guild may just scribble. We are doomed. There is no hope. Well, certainly not with that attitude. Uh, we'll read the journal next. First of Evening Star 4E130. Okay, we're going back in time, obviously. This is number three. We, Or is it two? Can't remember. But we've already read one of these. We've secured a location that will serve us well. An old, partially abandoned smuggler's hideout in Riften. One of the council members, Sichel Gatharian, hey, that's the name from the, the thief guy's note, had done prior business with the inhabitants and pointed us in their direction. Ah, so the mages even knew about it. They just didn't know what kind of people they were dealing with. It was a prudent choice, as these small bands of unsavory entrepreneurs seem more than happy to assist us with our venture, for they have a love of gold above all else. Oh, so you did know what kind of people they were. With this much aid, building our trap should be accomplished reasonably quickly. Once this is done, we will bring her remains to us and draw our spider out. <sighs> but what did this guy do in the first place that was so bad? 18th of Morningstar. It is done. Now all we can do is wait. When he arrives, we will incapacitate him with our magic and separate him from his blade. We will then channel his life force and mana into our constructed device, which will use his own energy to shield the weapon from him. In essence, he will become bound to it, for whilst he lives, the shield will hold. Hopefully this plan will work and we can avoid bloodshed, for given... What we know of him, we do not wish his death. Perhaps there is even hope that without his blade, we can rehabilitate him. For despite his crimes, I do pity the poor soul. But what did he do? Who is this person? Like, they talk about him like he's some kind of war hero, but that like, he also committed some seriously heinous crimes. I want to know everything. Aw, oh, man. Oh, there we go. Don't want to run out of lockpicks. Uh, magic of potions. I'll just chug those really quick. Not that I have any magicka needs in the first place, because I don't use spells. Maybe I should use spells. I don't know. That's a topic for a completely different day. A topic. Topic. We'll discuss it later. Maybe I will use some more spells. I mean, that healing spell and fire came really handy in the the Markarth dungeon. So maybe there's a ooh, maybe there's a good argument to be had on using spells. Hey, Do you have hold a on a sec. Got any sweet rolls? We're standing like at an enchanting meet. table. Let's see. Froki's bow. No, I don't want to... Aw, oh, that one... I can get that enchantment somewhere else. That one is named. Iron Dagger of Souls. War Axe of Fatigue. Great Sword of Whiterun. Katya, where did you get that? What, that... That's a very interesting looking weapon. Looks a little cartoonish, honestly, but like, where did you get it? No mind, okay. Uh, so many potions. Okay, I think I've gotten all the things from. Yep. your inventory that need to be disenchanted. Oh, and look at that. I can only do the one. Oh, on the bright side. You have a look. 
Yes, it's because I want to give you back a thing. Ah, yes. This is much easier. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So, we'll just sell that later. I mean, unless you want to use it. Done? It's not bad. As far as axes are concerned. Okay, so, we've done red, and we've now done green. All that should be left is blue. And we get this shiny new sword, and you better better believe I'm gonna try it out. And apparently it's not the only one. There's two of them. So we may have to go find the other one. Among all the other things I'm doing right now. Dear God, I've got so much on my plate. Ooh, okay. We're just gonna make some more potions. Because I want to <laughs> again try and make some more room in my inventory for other things. I don't know how many of those I can keep. Are those mostly poisons? Oh god. Oh, I hope they weren't mostly poisons. Fortify speech. Sure, I can talk my way out of anything. And stamina fortification. Yep, we'll just chug those and be on our merry way. We've still got one more room to discover. Uh, I don't know why I keep taking things. I'm so addicted to looting in, in, in this world. That's, yeah, this world. It's not a game. It's not a game. It's my real world. Gotta stop thinking of it as a game. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of skeletons in there. Be ready for a hell of a fight. This is the last room, after all. Oh, God, cages. Are those all doors? Oh, you have a weapon. Can I? I can't. Oh, no. We're going to get ambushed. Katya, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, God. Oh, there's more skeletons behind the doors. Oh, this is going to be a... This is going to be the worst fight we've been in so far. There are so many skeletons. I'm so panicked, I think mm -hmm. my eyes are playing tricks on me. Okay. I can't loot any of them. Oh, you are so going to come to life. Okay. Here goes nothing. Wait. Spell Tome Fury? Can I eat that one? Hey, I ate another skill uh, spell book. We're going to learn magic after all. What other skeletons are there to loot? Are these all lootable? Oh, there's one that says Guild Mage. Get the one that doesn't say guild mage. Alright, I'm sure he's got a note. Guild mage's missive. We have to try to contain him or die trying. She is the key to everything. For her death to find him and drove him insane, perhaps we can use her remains to summon her spirit and calm him. Oh. Why do I get the feeling they did something horribly wrong here? God. Okay. As much as I want to use archery, I'm still waiting for them to come to life at any moment. Okay, I'm going to read the journal, and then I'm going to touch the coffin, 
then all hell is gonna break loose. I hope you're ready. 14th of last seed, 4E130. This is the first journal. Our guild has been commissioned to capture and restrain a renegade blades captain. Many tall tales have been spoken of his cruelty and malice, some even claiming he is part serpent. In addition to bearing the arms of his former employers, it is said that he wields an Akaviri weapon of dark magic. The combination makes him quite formidable. Thankfully, the guild has great experience in dealing with such things, and we will win the day. Sixth of Hearthfire. We encountered our foe, but all did not go as planned, and he escaped us. He was more powerful than we had imagined, and many lives were lost as a result of our misjudgment. However, I am not convinced that his dreaded blade is the source of his power, as I have witnessed firsthand the dark magic it yields. For the blade drinks both life force and mana from any that befall it. We must think of a way to separate our foe from the source of his power. Second of Sun's Dusk. We have devised a means to separate our foe from his blade, and we must now set a trap and lure him to us. I am certain that it will work, but to be sure, I must think of an incentive to draw him to us. I think it would be prudent to research this former captain in more depth. Thirteenth of Sun Dusk. Upon reading what I have regarding our captain, my heart almost feels pity for him. It would seem that his madness and malice stem from the loss of his wife. The records reveal that it was, an, it was after this tragic event that the darkness of the soul overcame him. However, pity will not save lives. He must be stopped in all event. Therefore, I have decided to acquire the remains of his loved one in the hope that this will draw him to us. Oh, okay. So we kind of had the full story all to be uh, all along. So he was a good person. He was a diligent soldier, a noble warrior. And then his wife died, and he was grief-stricken. And then he found this magical sword, which basically took those dark thoughts of his and turned them into rage and fury and power and turned him into a bit of a monster against his own will. That makes a lot of sense. Here's hoping that doesn't happen to me because you bet I'm gonna I'm definitely touching the sword. We're totally using that sword. Okay, uh, before I do though, Let's do some preemptive measures here because I am not confident. Damage to stamina. Okay, we can coat our sword with this. Why not? Impure draught of feather and damage stamina potion. Increase carrying capacity. Decrease target stamina regen. Uh, no, we won't worry about that one. All right, you ready for this? Lots of skeletons, and I'm pretty sure Mr. Blades is going to show back up, too. Okay. Finally. Let's start by getting rid of as many skeletons as we can. What just happened? Yes, yes, kill them. Yes, indeed. Kill them. I feel like I should be killing this one, but it also looks already dead. Okay. Oh, he's aiming at me. Okay. Help Katya. Let's get rid of the skelly boys. All the skelly boys. Oh, okay. Ah, quit moving. You're an archer. Stop walking. Okay, there we go. That's all the skeletons. Now, Mr. Guardian. You have a name. Oh. Oh, and he takes a lot of damage. Oh, why did I just get hit? What just hit me? 
Oh, is there another archer somewhere? Oh, no, you don't. Uh oh. Got you behind you. What did you do to me? Quit getting in front of me. I'm trying to shoot him. Katya, quit moving. Where the hell's the other archer? Ow. That was magic, not archery. Okay. Is there going to be a third one? Oh, the original guy. Okay. Katya, Katya, we're not done. We're not done. He's still looking for us. For Skyrim. Yeah, yeah, for Skyrim. Sure. Oh, and he could use dragon shouts. Uh oh. Okay. I'm doing a lot of damage. When I actually land a shot. Quit Give me a move. Oh my god, I just. I just shot Katya in the head. Would you quit moving? Ow. Ow. That's enough of that. Oh, get wrecked, my boy. Holy crap, as I get wrecked right alongside you, I need health. Oh, you better have some real good loot for me there, sir. Oh, plates, armor. Oh, it looks so nice. Uh, but it's all... Oh, a katana. I want the katana. I really want the katana. Letter from home. Let's do story first. Story, story first, and then loot. My dearest Laurent, I know that there is no power that will stop them from taking you away from me and into battle upon foreign fields, for I understand that this is your duty as a captain of the blades. As your wife, I should respect things. Nevertheless, the fear that you may never return troubles me. Know that I think of you always. We are bound together in this life and in the next. Your beloved Emma. Ah, oh, so his name is Laurent. His wife's name was Emma, and that was the last correspondence they ever had. And now to kill my back. Yep. Yep. Definitely killing my back. God, you. Oh, my back. Got a lot of stuff you are carrying, boss. Yes. Yes, it is. So much Careful. stuff. Why you can't I trip, loot this I skeleton? Is there anything else I can do with this? I guess not. And the skeletons can't be looted either, at least not the ones up there. Oh, this hurts. Okay. Nope. It's not loot already looted corpses. A part of me doesn't actually care about the loot. I am going to gather my arrows, though, because I used a lot of arrows. The war axe can stay behind. I don't care about the war axe. We'll grab the gems. The gems are valuable. For some reason, I can't... Some of these can be looted and others can't. It's weird. Oh well. J again, focus on the arrows. Arrows are important. Apparently my eyes are still bugging out. Or if I am actually stuck in a legit video game, well then that's just chalked up to a graphics glitch. How that happened, I don't know. Again, it feels like my world is being modded all around me while I'm living in it. It's really weird. I am weary. Yeah, of course I'm weary. I haven't slept in I don't know how long. 
Nothing I can do about it right now. There's nowhere to go to sleep. Aw, and they're reunited. It's too bad everything looks like I'm wearing a pair of 3D glasses while not actually watching a 3D video. But this is what we came for. Hello, beautiful. Should we see how it looks? We should definitely see how it looks. Dawn Fang. Oh, look at that gorgeous sword. Daytime deals 7 points of fire damage, at night deals frost damage. After killing 12 creatures, absorbs 5 points of health or magicka. Oh, 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 Katya, this thing is gorgeous. Look at it. I have a new favorite toy. 